1973. Well, a volcano erupted in Iceland, Seltjanes. Well, the happiest moment is uh, also hard to answer, but I'd say that that was the moment I held my baby for the first time. It was just a feeling of incredible wonderment and joy. <laughs> um, I couldn't possibly tell you. Find as much joy and happiness in the moment. I think they are persistence and endurance. I don't like to sit around and do nothing. Uh, it's very irritating to me. It's a good question. I think anything that involves people. So I like uh, and communication. So I'd be interested in anything that involves teaching or connecting with people like a doctor also. Uh, interesting. Well, after the alarm, I'm trying to turn it off. It's probably my child. I always uh, loved the violin and my dr dream was always to play it. Um, it wasn't to be famous or anything, but just to be able to play the violin. I slept with it even. <laughs> Bach, most definitely. Well, yes, uh, several times in fact. <laughs> Hafel. Oh my, I think E.T. It was my first movie I watched when I came to the United States. I loved it. <laughs> well, in the last few years I've uh, gotten interested in football because I live in Germany and everyone loves it so much. And I have to say it's quite interesting and exciting. I don't go back in time. <laughs> That's a contradictory question, isn't it? <laughs> Perhaps because I don't feel that anyone has failed. I think we all must do our personal best. I don't think there's a magic formula, but I think that there is a formula which goes something like this, be yourself. There's an absolutely wonderful Brahms concerto with Nathan Milstein, that, that it's second movement just, just beyond words. I'd say the one I just, the, the project that I just finished, where we recorded uh, some incredible French music, uh, sonatas for violin and piano. I think that's a huge project I'm extremely proud of. I think the future is very bright. There are incredibly imaginative, communicative people playing uh, out there, and I think that I think that uh, the next generation is going to carry on the tradition um, in a very, very uh, strong way. <laughs>